this defect you're at, the update, and the big rig group build 2020. Uh, I actually I built that truck decades ago, that model, and uh, this is what I got left of it. It's original kit. I don't remember what year that was that came out, but I know I was a lot younger back then. So, Billy Joel McKay, BJ and the Bear. It's got a long frame on it. I got some parts here and there. I need to really uh, maybe do a little restoration on this, put it back together. <clears throat> It's an oldie. But uh, we're going to do an update on our Transstar 4300 Eagle AMT Ertl kit. Um, so here's, here's what we got going on. Sorry about my squeaky chair. We got the basically the chassis built up. We got we got the engine in there, radiator. I did my uh, Transtar forty three hundred Eagle uh, engine, uh, International Red. You know it it says you can do blue, but um, most of them were red. I think some of the smaller trucks were blue. Um, I still got to straighten up some of these tires and wheels. I just kind of stuck them on there for now. I had these extra fenders, <clears throat> and they had some bad chrome on them from another kit, and uh, so I was kind of contemplating uh, painting them up and. Uh, Mounting them on here. Put a little something extra on it. Um. <clears throat> we got the uh, we got the posable steering working. That works nice and smooth. Nice feature in this kit. And uh, we did some work on the cab. Uh, decided to cut the driver's side door open. And uh, so we got the uh, we got the door skin here. And then uh, there's the interior door panel. And then the inside part of the cab. <coughs> So we'll just have to make a little filler piece for the bottom and uh, put our hinge in there. Also did the, uh, blacked out the uh, front clip. We got that, so when we paint the outside, that'll be done. Um, also did, uh, painted up the uh, sleeper bed. I got this little miniature, um, box from the white Freightliner kit. I built that up one night so we can lay that in there. So that'll be kind of cool. <clears throat> I'm not sure what color I'm going to do. The decals look pretty nice on here. Kind of like beige and brown. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those yet. Um, I got some paints over here I picked up at the hobby store uh, before all this uh, virus stuff started flying around. Uh, I'm thinking maybe red with white and maybe a black stripe or maybe blue with the white and a black stripe. Or I mean, we could do some different things. Uh, so I don't know. I haven't made up my mind on that yet. So we'll have to 
I'll have to think about it. Um, uh, I, the problem is I, I have white, but it's flat white right now. I don't really want to go out and get any more paint right now. I'll just have to work with what I got. I could do flat white on the top. I'd have to clear it and uh, just be a little bit more work. But, I mean, we could do it that way. So, but, yeah, that's where we're at. Coming along pretty good. We got a lot of the hard part done. Really have any issues too much. Um, this the, the leaf springs on this uh, frame, uh, there's half of it that's molded in. The other half is on the sprue. And uh, when you look in the instructions, um, I didn't really see anywhere where it says, uh, you know, it says in here. To, to, to build up the, uh, the other half of the leaf spring so so if you do this kit you'll have to be kind of let's think about that so other than that I mean it's been good I've had pretty good luck with the AMT Ertl kits the, those kits usually they work pretty good so well uh there's an, my baby international right there, I'll die cast. So, but uh, thanks to Jeff at uh, Jeff's Model Car Garage and Dylan at NYS Modeling um, for. Hosting a co-host in the group build. And uh, we'll do another update video in about a week. So uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, keep building. And uh, everybody be careful out there. Lay low, stay in your shell. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk to you all later on. Thanks.